what's up? This is Mago once again, Sherwin Pichardo from Arisma Recording Studios. And we're here, we're gonna talk a little bit about mic placement in a different format this time, but again, the same format. First, we're gonna talk about how to do it right away. The second part of it is gonna be using it in process. And the third one is gonna be in technical terms. So guys, if you have a home studio right now, check this out. If you got a microphone, I know a lot of the times you got a good quality mic, sometimes like a condenser. And what happens is that you get noise. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna eliminate all that noise real quick. Take your microphone, open up your closet, make sure there's a lot of clothes behind there, or get in front of a library. Put your microphone this way and make sure that the artist is with the closet open behind them. And then besides that, then you're gonna put like a blanket or clothes or a whole bunch of stuff inside of the room. And remember to bring down your headphones, all right? Bring down the headphones so the headphones aren't really loud. And don't put the volume too high on the recording. Put it just high enough that you're not gonna clip. That means going into the red zone. That gives you distortion, you don't want that. All right, now let's put it into process. You're gonna get your microphone, you're gonna stand in front of something that has a whole bunch of clothes, you know what I mean? Like a closet or whatever. Open up your door, all right? You're gonna stand there, put your microphone so that it's facing this way and the artist is going this way. Then you can put up a mattress, a whole bunch of other clothes or boxes or whatever behind the microphone or even cover it up with a big blanket. So that way when they're here, they're talking directly into the mic and whatever noise is hitting that way isn't gonna bounce back, okay? So that's how we're gonna set it up. Now, let's go into the technical terms of this. For example, I have material here that is actually absorptive material. Most places, most home studios are not what they call soundproof, okay? Even though they say, hey, I put up a whole bunch of stuff around my house and it's soundproof. This is not for soundproofing. Soundproofing goes inside of the walls. That means that any sound coming into the room, all right, is what we're trying to eliminate. That's soundproofing. This is acoustical treatment. That means so that we can get a better quality sound inside of the room, all right? So now here we're gonna go. This is absorptive material, which means that if I put absorptive material on a wall and I talk in front of it, guess what happens? It absorbs the sound. You hear the difference? You hear the difference? Testing, one, two, testing, you see what I mean? Now if we go to a wall, an actual flat wall, we're gonna get a lot of reverberation. So that's why it's very clear here. Hello, 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 which is what happens in most houses. Now, there's another type of treatment, which is diffusion, where you have a lot of holes inside of it, and when you talk in front of something like this, it actually destroys it into a bunch of pieces, right? We don't use a lot of this stuff inside of a room for recording, but we do use a lot of absorptive material. So inside of your room, we'll do something like this because it's gonna be a flat wall. We're gonna put clothes, in front of it and when we talk in front of clothes for example we're actually absorbing a whole bunch of stuff difference here's the difference all right so make sure you do that guys subscribe to my channel right here um check us out arisma entertainment you can find us and you know you'll see that this makes a big difference in what you're doing leave us a comment send us an email we'll do what we got to do peace